Hello everyone, today I am going to explain one of the best feature of JFstar that is how we are going to create an entity and mapping of those entity using JDL file. I will also explain how we can create this JDL file actually. JDL means JFstar domain language actually. Okay. As we know using JFstar we can easily create any applications either in React or Angular. Meaning like whenever we are going to create project using JFstar then it will provide us options like in which framework we are going to create this project. So after choosing those options it will give us one ready made application. So we can directly start it. It will give us one UI according from the UI you can choose those options. In one of my videos actually already I explained how we can create this project using JFstar. As well as I will also like uh, means uh, create uh, any entities like if you are going to add any new entity into the existing project using the JFstar command that also I will explain in this uh, one of my videos. I will share this particular link in the description section. If you like my videos please subscribe my channel. So today actually I am going to explain how can we create those entity and mapping of those entities using the JDL file. So JDL as you can see uh, this is a kind of the like JFstar documentation pass, uh, documentations all the things over here. So this is a kind of the domain language. So in this JDL file actually we are going to provide all the we need to create all the entity kind of entity details like field name what kind of the data type it is what is the mapping. I will show you like how we can create the JDL. Uh, for so that we can uh, import this JDL file into the into our existing project so that it will generate us all the entities okay so either for creating the JDL file either we can use like online tool JL studio so this is actually one of the best option that we can create so if we click this one then it will actually give us this option okay so here actually this uh, I, I, I'll come over here okay so this is the kind of the to create a JDL file and is email visualizes we can use this one we can export from over there or either we can also import from here if we are having already existing JDL file so that also from over here we can modify here or either we can create once we are created all the JDL file then we can export from here also okay so this is about this JDL kind of JDL file things now how we are going to create this entity so actually Okay, before that once our JDL file creation is done actually using this way. So how we are going to create this particular entity into our existing project. So for that JDL provide one command actually like this one. So we can generate the entity and then JDL start by running this JDL JDL and this is the generator means what is the JDL means JDL file. Okay, like this one. Okay, JDL JDL and then the JDL file name using this we can create our one JDL file now over here as you can see this is one table name this is the field name and this is the type this is also another table name this is uh, field name and this is the data type from here also you can see like uh, like how this mapping is going on like okay so this uh, region country location employee these are the mapping of this one so once this all the entities are done over here like this is the param mandatory fields tax employee so in, in the below you can see like this is the relationship we are defining like this country to region like as you can see country having the region mapping so country to region then location to country location to country department to location department to we are having the location okay and then also we are having uh, department to employee so that is also defining where then one to many like defining the multiple one to many relationship with comments so like if we're having the multiple defined in a single file like employee to job department to employee so two we are defined two in relationship we are defining over here then many to one so all the dependencies we can define over here so once all the things is done over here then we can export this one over from over here okay sorry this is the import and this is the export so we can download from over here so once the download is done actually then we can uh, like easily like we can import this one okay so i just uh, keep this uh, file actually inside of the resource uh, so this is the already i have created one uh, project using jfstar and now we are going to import this jdl file uh, 
like I have already like uh, this JDL file I have exported from over there and this is the JDL file okay now we are going to import this file so how we are going to import this one we are going to like this is the command actually j star then jdl and then j star path so this path actually need to give once we will enter this one then it will actually uh, like it will uh, generate all the entities like uh, whatever we have discussed over here these are the like uh, entities so this all these entities actually it will be like uh, created into this uh, uh, existing project okay this will created as you can see all the things are generated over here okay next uh, once this is done now means it will take little bit of time now it will generate all the things as you can see all the like uh, uh, kind of uh, component angular component i have created this choose as a front end as a angular so that's why it's uh, create uh, means all the things mapping toward here like in angular also it created now it will take little bit of time not more time as you can see this is done now next what we need to run as here is a showing if you are using the windows then we need to run this one so for windows we need to run this one okay okay let's see it will actually build and also run the project for us it will take some time so let's wait for some time so what we did till now like we have uh, like uh, using the jdl studio uh, jfstar provided all this online tool actually over there we have created some uh, like entity and also with the mapping with this one and then we are we have like using the jfstar jdl command we have import uh, we have first of all like uh, from the jdl studio we have uh, downloaded this jdl file and kept inside of a resource folder when we are creating this uh, jfstar project after creating the project then we are using the jdl command uh, then we are importing this particular jdl into the existing project so it will take little bit of time after executing this uh, jdl import things once this is done then we can like build or like run the application into a local okay it will take little bit of time as you can see over here then it will actually start uh, the application okay it's still taking little bit of time just wait for some time so that it will run the applications for us as you can see just uh, like build is done but uh, it's failed actually okay with some exception uh, compilation issues that we need to remove okay it's showing from multiple places or whatever the actually html file is generated we need to like see and open this one okay so for the time being we are just removing this one so that it will be run actually we are going to delete this kind of thing for the time being so that it will means we are able to run then later on we will check like uh, because these entities are not actually means showing over there so not used actually for the timing so that's why it's showing this issue so we are removing it later on we will whenever we will just for the demo purpose it is not required so in later one we will like uh, whenever it will require then we can add those things but for the timing it is not required so we are removing it okay actually it created lots of entity so that's why actually we uh, need to remove from the multiple places this one straightable this is it's not over there actually that's why it's causing issue this one okay now try to rerun again okay it will take little bit of time so let's wait for some time it's still going on using jstar actually we can easily create a crowd operation kind of thing 
we can mapping the entities we can create new entities it will be means very easy actually uh, to it will generate all the things all the code for us we manually don't need to do anything uh, for that so that's why gesture is a very good tool for creating the CRUD operation kind of thing if you like this video please subscribe my channel it's still taking some time as you can see build is successful now now it will start actually 880 port localhost means it's built down now successfully so that means little bit of changes is required but it is not required actually basically but for just compilations as i was getting these issues so that's why little bit of modifications as i was done so that we can run in local okay it will start in the localhost 880 port it's uh, started actually and now spring boot is started okay it started and it is running the url is 880 okay so you can run this one okay and we can sign in using admin user like admin and password as also admin if we sign in okay now here you can see this country department employee job job history location region tax all the entities whatever means uh, we have created uh, from over here like all the entities we can import here so like as you can see over in the department actually you can see the all the details are showing these are the dummy data that already actually provided so from here we can create the new department like uh, okay you can say the department is saved successfully the identifier is 11 this is the I have, we have created we can delete from here also so it's uh, like easy right so you can see the department is deleted so the crowd operation kind of thing like view edit delete all the things done very easily so for this how much entries were here? one two three four five six seven eight so that means for eight entities we have easily like in five or five minutes we can create all the like entities in a using the jdl easily right so what you need to do what process you need to follow first we need to create one JD, jdl actually whatever the entries we need whatever the like entity we need so that actually you need to create over here in a, and also you need to provide the mapping over here and then just we need to like provide the jdl actually jdl mapping into uh, means we need to using the command actually we need to execute this particular command for importing this jdl into our existing project once this is done then we need to build this and after the build it will generate us all the things so as you can see the employees then job then like uh, job history so all the things is done then very beautifully right locations that means very easy like in a five minutes uh, we can uh, generate uh, not only the seven or eight you can we can provide uh, more entities actually so those things we can do very easily right so this is the very beauty of this jf star so this is actually about uh, this jdl tool as well as the jf star how we can merge uh, means uh, do things in a jf star using just simple command we can input those entities into our existing projects that's all actually overall things about this one if you guys have anything please do let me know and please subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye